Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a compression check on the current NAZ motor because we're swapping it out for a turbo one. Uh, this video is going to serve two purposes. We're going to teach you how to check the compression on your Z and also an ad for a potential buyer who wants the motor out of this car because we're getting a new one. Uh, this is just as proof so you can see the health of the motor and it's on, everything works good. Okay, in order to do this job, you need to have a compression tester. Uh, you can pick up something like this from Harbor Freight uh, or your local AutoZone. I was looking through my stuff and I just happened to have two of them. So I'll probably try both of them just to see uh, where we end up at. But they, they honestly look like they're the exact same thing, just in a different package. So make sure you get a compression uh, tester. You can probably pick this up at your local AutoZone or Harbor Freight for like 20, 25 bucks, 30 bucks maybe. All right, so now we're gonna do the compression check on the engine. I've got the service manual specs right here. And standard is 186. Minimum is 142 for non-turbocharged engines. Uh, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this fuse box cover right here and then pull the uh, fuel pump fuse, which is gonna be the one all the way to the right. To the right. And then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the balance tube, which is one, two, three, four, five bolts. You don't need to take the hoses off. You're just gonna prop it out of the way. Uh, it's gonna help you get to the um, coal packs a little easier. And also it's gonna give a little bit more airflow to the engine. Um, and then after that, you're gonna pull out all the coal packs. So it's uh, two bolts for each one. There's one here, one there, one there, one here, one there, and one back behind here. After that, um, you're gonna pull off the plugs and the coal packs. Be easy with the wire harnesses because uh, they, break, they can break very easily. And you don't wanna break them. And then after that, you're gonna pull out the uh, spark plugs, uh, all six of them. And I believe that's it. So here we go.
All right, so we got the coil packs pulled and have all the spark plugs pulled. Jonah's inside the car. He's gonna mash it full throttle. He's gonna crank it. Um, I've got the compressor checker hooked up to cylinder number one. And so we'll see how it goes and we'll keep doing every one after that. got finished with the compression check uh, looks like all the cylinders are within standard I'm sorry within the minimum and pretty close to standard so all right so here's the results of our compression test on this motor I would say a pretty successful test all the numbers are at least at the minimum and a couple of them are pretty close to standard so pretty good test on the compression num numbers overall the only thing I don't really understand is the differential limit between cylinders uh, I do have a greater number of difference between the cylinders at 14, but if you look at cylinders 1 and 3, that 210 and 194, I think are really high. Uh, so if, you, if you've got any ideas on this, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. For the purposes of the person buying this motor, I think it's a, it's a really strong motor. The compression numbers look pretty good. Uh, we've driven this car from New Jersey to here. We've had it on the road multiple times with no issues. Um, Three plus hours. Yeah, long road trips. Three or four hours no issues the um it does have headers on it it's got um z1 headers and it's got the uh injector upgrade on it so like the the aluminum pieces that hold the injectors are upgraded to the newer ones um so and i think it has a couple other upgrades on it. i'll throw in the z1 intake with it as well so if you want to buy this motor from me um it'll help us put some money into the turbo swap i'm looking to get 2500 bucks for it just reach out to me i'll put my email in there send me an email or drop a comment and uh we'll work something out if you want to buy this motor off of me another thing too uh, make sure you subscribe I'm trying to get that subscriber count up if you want to support the channel uh the more you guys subscribe the more motivated we are to do videos uh thanks and see you next time